it is happening here. All you got to do is look behind me. There are a lot of ponies in this park. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Easy Street Garage. Glad you can join us for this episode. We are here, and I gotta tell you guys, here at Easy Street Garage, yeah. guys. All you gotta do is look behind me. There are a lot of ponies in this parking lot. So we're full. Performance is full here at Easy Street Garage. We're talking about performance. We're talking about whatever it takes to not only maintain these things, but get them to go and go fast. Well, this is the car that uh, beat Ferrari in the 1960s. So uh, uh, we set out on a journey about five years ago to uh, build this car. It's a super performance chassis. And uh, we built a, uh, an all-out race 427 big block engine, put it in there. Um, didn't realize what we were getting into. We had to cut the whole chassis out to, to uh, fit the engine in the car. If uh, anybody's seen the movie Ford versus Ferrari, there's a, a line in the movie where they're dyno testing an engine. And uh, the character Kenny Miles asks, he says, you put that in that already? And uh, it's just a quick line, but what you don't understand is all the work that went into it and cutting out on a, on a brand new chassis. We had to cut everything out to build it up. So, uh, so that's where we are. This one's about 740 horsepower. And um, it's geared to run about 250 miles an hour. We haven't had it there yet. We just had it on the road. But uh, uh, we're looking forward to getting it on the track and, and seeing what we can do. It is absolutely beautiful. Give us a walk around if you don't mind. Okay. Super. So this is a uh, right-hand drive car, uh, like the original. So we started out as a Lola chassis. Ford uh, worked to deal with Lola and got a couple of chassis. And uh, the chassis was ahead of its time, but the car wasn't proven. So uh, with a bunch of Ford horsepower at the, uh, the office and working with the, uh, the guys from Lola and John Wire and all those famous names, uh, we put together the GT40. It took me a couple of years to work the bugs out. But, uh, uh, here it is. So this is the original right hand drive, the way it's supposed to be. And um, we tried to keep the color scheme in line with what the cars might look like at the time, although we wanted our company colors to die craft with the red, white, and blue. We wanted to show that off. So I think we did that, we did that pretty well. I think you did well. Got your Willens uh, harness in there, same thing as that uh, 350 down there. She looks good, man. that can guess what that means right there. First person, comment below. You win an Easy Street Garage t-shirt. I'll send it to you. What's it mean? Come on.
Okay guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Easy Street Garage. Hey listen, until next episode, big announcement coming. Stay tuned, don't forget, subscribe, smash the like button, toggle the bell for instant notification on anything coming up on Easy Street Garage. Until next time, peace out.